I do need to see the reaction if they put it back. God, the game isn't is not as much fun without mods. I got spoiled. Yeah, I'm the same way with Baldur's Gate now. I'm not even buying Baldur's Gate for the PlayStation 5. Fuck it. Because then I'm just going to be like, why isn't Thomas here? I wonder if there's a mod Where's to make Tom Boo... Where's like... Thomas and Shrek and all my friends? <laughs> they need to make a mod that makes Boo a giant hamster. Giant space hamster. That would be interesting considering those are basically the size of like a bear. Oh, I want to see that if they ever do it. They also have different variants of them if you go like around the galaxy, like in the uh, spell jammer setting. They have like saber tooth ones, they have uh, fire ones, ice ones, like a bunch of different different kinds of them that have been. And they're all supposed to be intelligent? They all have um, like sentient intelligence basically almost. I wasn't expecting that last night, but I should have known because you did mention space hamsters, I think, when we first started playing. Did I? I, 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 so. I think somebody asked in the chat about it because they probably knew that Minsk was coming up. And I. I uh, Minsk is like the flagship character of Baldur's Gate. Ah, uh, that makes sense. So that's also why he's the last one you recruit because you can't. Unfortunately, you can't romance him. Um, really, game? Already, that's just. That's you just can't wrong. do that with him, and you really can't do that with Jahira either. Um. Because uh, they all the romance is unless you have them progress to a certain point, cut off after Act Two. I found out that's the programming that activates them. Oh, I hate it. So you have to have them all progressed before you go into Act. So I I'm basically cock blocked. Mephisto is no from a couple of them. Look at me. You've gone through so much, and here I am getting comfort from you like a selfish jerk. Almost as bad as an live? Avenger. We're live. <laughs> You're not okay. that bad, Ilyana, I promise. Liar. I might as well put on a cape and start calling myself doctor. Don't be so hard on yourself. You saw your tormentor today. That couldn't have been easy. It's good to have you back, sister. It's good to be back, sister. We'll finish this conversation later. Looks like someone wants to talk to you. She's all yours. Why couldn't Wanda be like, oh, hold on. Kiwi dropped his uh, treat. Mephisto was behind the soulless. Why did you not tell me, Ileana? Because I didn't know for sure. It was not easy to face him, you know. But the support of my friends, like you, gave me the strength to do it. In a way, I owe him everything. Even though he took everything from me. He made me Dark Child. Gave me the gift of ruling Limbo. And today, I booted him from it. And it wasn't the first time. Right, so she likes dark. Yes. I would like to hear about the first time you expelled him from Limbo. He did it to himself, really. Mephisto made the mistake of putting me in a position where I... I had to kill my only friends in Stop order to that. prevent him from summoning the Elder Gods. I could not take it anymore, and found a way to teleport back to my parents. But it had been so many years that they... didn't recognize me. In fact, they were terrified of me and called the police. So, I went back to Limbo, and used my own pain to form the Soul Sword. I used it to drive back Mephisto and take the throne. He was not expecting that. <sighs> That's enough about him for today. We must look forward to the challenges that lay ahead. Sleep well tonight, Ileana. You deserve it. Challenges. Good night, Hunter. I want those damn cards. Doesn't everybody? Yeah, we think anyone that's played this or even Late seen those. I, we've worked with John. They're nicer than the actual ones Marvel's made. Heard about the limbo adventure. 
Wanda coming back shows you how fluid these end-of-world situations are. Even Lilith didn't like her pact with him. I still believe people are inherently good, even if they make bad choices. Give me some fucking- give me a mod for Arcane Keys. Oh, we need to see if my new mod worked, and I'm sorry in advance. Wait, what new mod? <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> what, what, you, what did you- you took chunks out of his suits. There is somebody he looks working. Like a, he looks like a fucking gimp. <laughs> a gimp with a sword. Nah, okay, that's just... <laughs> I, I feel I feel like you might as well not even wear oh, the armor. Oh, I didn't even remember that, that one. Oh yeah, the bike. Okay, yeah. Now nah, we're and the hooker boots. I don't know. Those aren't hooker no. Boots, for, so right. far, nothing for that. But he's this. He's the first one other than than male hunter that's gotten this guy modding him. Jesus. Yep. It's the only thing that changes is the helmet. I love it. I mean, which one do you want, Mike? Uh, I'm trying to figure out how so it keeps the got, guns there so, now. All right, all right. So, uh, let's go with whatever the kinkier one is. There it is, the kinkier one. Let's get to it. Right, oh god. Okay, we're gonna go with the gimp suit. None okay, of the other guys good. yet have gotten modded. Hello, my sweet girl. <laughs> Charlie is best pupper dog. Oh no. no. There you go. The parchment of power is here, within the walls of the abbey. I assume you overheard Robbie or someone talking about it? No. I could feel its power the moment it arrived. It was a numbing dread, the likes of which I have never experienced before. I worry for Robbie. You do not think he can handle it? Sarah and Strange probably won't bring this up around him, but that parchment is not just random Latin phrases. It contains the words of Cathon himself. They are as dangerous as nuclear weapons. This is the Marvel verse. Think about what that means. That means if someone gets it blasted in their face, they're just getting powers. Yeah. That's how shit works. I have already heard those words spoken aloud. Blaze read from the page and I saw what it could do. The power it unleashed. The hellfire and destruction is only the beginning, I'm afraid. The page will not be with Robbie long. If Stark's plan succeeds, we will be rid of Cathan's only toehold in our world. Perhaps. The parchment is just one page of many, all carrying Cathan's vile message. Those pages were scattered across the globe. The hope was that they would remain hidden forever. Yet man, in his infinite wisdom, decided to collect them and bind them into the Darkhold. And now Robbie has the final page. I pray he is strong enough to carry it. That's gonna go well. Give. If... Yeah, see, they had a really good one for his um, Midnight Sun's outfit. But the guy shaved his head for some fucking reason. Because baldness is cool. He doesn't look good on Doctor Strange. It looks weird. Oops. It makes him look like a biker. Yeah. Yeah, it does. I'm not comfortable with biker Doctor Strange. Called Limbo home. Was that Mephisto Creeper living there? Even in the rain, Blade. You got to be bored watching me practice defensive roles. No, no, I'm fine with this. Keep going. This is absolutely fine. Do it. Don't get shy. And that bothers you? No, not at all. Why would I care? She can do what she wants. 
I was gonna practice with Robbie, but he ran off to clean his car with Peter. Uh-oh. Sounds like you're the one who's bothered. Like you said, Robbie can do what he wants. Boyd, have you turned into a teenage girl because of these people? Maybe just a little bit. <laughs> it really has in this game. I feel like this is like younger Blade. I don't know. He's already done a lot of shit. I also think I was talking to somebody about this game. I think this is Wanda before she finds out about who her actual parents are. Because it's the only way it works. Because there is no way that uh, her dad otherwise would turn on her. Yeah. I'm kind of busy right now. Cleaning your car? It's got to be done. And if I don't, no one else will. Uh, which one would you like more? I don't recall. I'm guessing Robbie tends to go uh, more towards the light side than the dark side a lot of the time, so... I am sorry you are That's stuck right. with the burden of the parchment, Robbie. Don't be. It's fine. Bastard! If you need help, I, I said you. it's fine. If there is Fuck something you, you need to get you off have your nothing. chest... Nothing! You mean like the parchment? No. It's in there pretty snug. I'm doing great otherwise. It's not like any major life role models attempted to sell us out to Mephisto recently. Robbie, I... Thanks for checking on me, Hunter. Later. Thanks, Robbie. You've turned into a girl, right too. Now. You all Thanks. are snippy little bitches today. I see things are going well for you, too. Peter, we cool? Some people have no taste in role models, huh? Yeah, <laughs> we're cool, Peter. Wow, that's a dick. One time, I needed to cut a cheesy grande burrito in one sitting. Sour cream, guac, black beans. The whole thing sat right at the top of my gut for a day and a half. It's not the same as having a piece of the dark hold stuck in your chest, but... It also kinda is. Sucks about Blaze, though. They say never meet your idols. They just let him go. Blame you. The voice Who actor just go nuts, didn't I? Blaze? Yeah, I wouldn't stress about it too much. My Aunt May has a saying. Yes, they did. Living in worry invites death in a hurry. He's going to flame him, and I'm just going to walk away so it happens. I see nothing if he ends up dead. Oh, God! <laughs> he's he's Spider-Man. He'll live through it, I think. I think. Spider-Man does not have a healing factor. Let's make that clear. I thought he heals faster than normal humans. He might heal a little bit faster, but I don't, it's not like a Wolverine. Oh, no. I know it's nowhere near Wolverine, but I know he does have a advanced, like a bit of a faster healing. Hang on a second. Let, let me actually look that up, because I didn't know if he had... Could have sworn he does. No, watch. That'll be Miles Morales or one of the thousand fucking others. Uh, he heals a little bit faster than, than normal people do. Okay, that's what I thought. I think I know where we went missing on one of the tarot cards. I just to remember where I found it last night, because it's one I hadn't seen before. Where did I see that? I wasn't here, but I'm going to go check the chest. Yep. Give me your shit. Superheroes are born left and right in this universe. Yeah, basically. Hey, did you have a rough childhood oh. and come into contact with nuclear waste? You're a superhero now. So I started reading last night the, uh, the comic. Uh-huh. The Crash Morgan. Oh my god, it's amazing. I lost my shit laughing when I read I need this space park. I'm like, I'm s What? <laughs> god, I love 50s comics. Just the lo stupidest lines possible. And you have the stupid, like, teenage happy-go-lucky sidekick that gets himself in all kinds of shit. Uh, because you have to. Yes. 
Was we might die. Time. That's okay. Just don't let me get captured again. Oh, fuck you, dude. Oh, where did I see that? Eh, fuck it. I'll do a little bit more exploring and then I'll go. And... Yeah, no, I, I, I'll link it to you. Because it was in general last night. I ended up reading, like, one whole comic last night. And I was just, before I fell asleep. And I was like, this is so stupid. I love this. And there's only six issues and that annoys me. Mm. We need the return. If you feel like buying the rights. Fucking like Marvel. I wonder if they do own the rights to all of Atlas's old comics since it is their original company. But I don't think they remember half that shit. Except for Captain Motherfucking America. Did uh did he come from the father of Atlas? serpents is smiling. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he well, I mean he was around in the in the thirties and forties, so I mean well forties at least. Something I mean, was I, I thought that was when they were still around. Yeah, then that would have been it because uh, Crash was around nineteen fifty three. Something is happening to me. Is this the price that I must pay for what I've done? My mind races consumed by a spiral of darkness. Even my body appears to be changing right before my eyes, and this dark power seeps out of me. Bubbling like oil from the earth, have I made a mistake? And yet, when the babe's tiny fingers curl around mine, I'm reminded I did the right thing. And that your sister's an absolute bit. You know what? Fuck this. Can I destroy this? Nothing can stand in his way. I figured you out, game. You will not stop me. Don't stop believing. Mike, no. Damn, you run fast. I don't have any mods on to do that. My mod for running in the Abbey faster actually isn't working. It looks like it is. No, it's not supposed to. Well, maybe it is affecting the outside mod, the outside stuff, because it's not supposed to. Don't stop. God damn arcane keys. Oh, wait a minute. Isn't there a breakable wall behind that? Is there? Isn't that the breakable wall? That, oh, no. That's where, the, that's where the chest actually is, I think. Yeah. Don't stop. Mm -hmm. Oh, boy. I see it down there. I see that glow. I'm gonna get you. can't escape me. There is no escape. I'm surprised S.H.I.E.L.D. hasn't opened up like a superhero college or something at this point. They might have. Shit. They did. It was called Avengers Academy. Oh, right. That's what the game was based off of. That was good. And, D and uh, Disney killed it because we can't have nice things. Yeah, they literally, they just copied Battle Royale and murdered all the little fuckers. Uh, she was bored that day. Well, technically Arcade did it, but because apparently he's doing things like that now. Oh, okay. I mean, someone's got to have an hobby. I mean, he just melts people and murders children for like three issues. He was bored that day. Can I just read this one? I don't think so. Set must not be listening today. Where was that? Isn't the standing stuff? Is it Dreamer's Descent? Maybe. But fuck, I know I found these before. They stopped tending to this grave some time ago. I guess I'm the only one that comes out here these days, so I get it. It's so sad, though. It was hundreds of years ago, but I can feel so much sorrow in this place. But a loss like that, a husband and a father, that doesn't just go away. Maybe that's why everything happened the way it did? Okay, so we need to just find one more. What is this? We just stopped collecting pages at one time, at some time, didn't we? What do you mean, stopped? 
Because there's pages lying around right out in the I, open. I, I think it's just that we just didn't notice where they were. Or, yeah, or maybe we, maybe there was, I think maybe when we were doing the DLC stuff, I don't think we stopped the exploration section. I don't even know how many, how many do you still need? One of Wanda, one of Lilith, two for Harem Shaw, two tarot cards, caretaker, hunter, and interrogation records. Okay, so you basically still need almost everything. At least one. Yep. Morning, everybody. Yep, surprise stream. Because we have time. Not here. I know it's in this area. Oh, I, you can use the reveal spell on that to uh, get a key. Yes. I think? Unless we've already done that. No, never there mind. Must not we already be did anything it. here. Yeah, we already did it. Autumn thinks otherwise. Cock teasing me. Piece of shit. You know, there's really no mods for like the uh, around the Abbey outfits, which is a surprise. Hmm. I, mean, I think some of those assets they use for the sexy costumes because of the swimsuits. Those ones are such a bitch to get working now. Sector thing. Oh. oh, there's a reveal. Yeah. The son of Gaia approves. Give. Jeez. Give us drugs. Yep. I need the key. Yep. Break that shit. Set is in good dance. humor today. Okay, there's the last interrogation report. Such so humiliation being led into the town square and put on display like an animal. Still, she revealed nothing of the coven's efforts. Written accounts of the interrogations of those accused of witchcraft during the 17th century. Yeah, I think you're right. During the DLC stuff, we just stopped caring. Especially because we uh, had already done a lot of exploring with the first save before it got corrupted. Here's a question. What? Okay, if you were a superhero, what what universe would be more you'd be more fucked in, DC or Marvel? Uh, I mean, it depends on what kind of superhero you are in each universe. Like, if you're a Superman motherfucker in the Superman universe in DC, you could probably be okay for the most part. You know, most people are gonna take that bullet before you are, especially <laughs> if it's a Kryptonite one. Um. Marvel? Yeah, no, I feel like Marvel, you would just be fucked, because there's more messed up shit over there. Other other than, than, like, the weird stuff with DC and, like, the whole, like, murdering elongated man's wife and the rape and the mind rape. Yeah, DC does have a thing about grape. We have to say grape so we don't get in trouble. They do like doing grape a few times, don't they? They have a bushel of grapes. Yes, they do. Even and Superman's half, gotten half of, it. And half of them come from Alan Moore. Isn't he the one saying everything is fascist? No, he's just the one that's like hates the comic industry and hates basically everything and just hate just He's a curmudgeon -y old man who hates everything. Who makes really creepy comics. Yes. I know he may watch me. He's also, I guess, in interviews talking about how all, basically everything in the world is going to turn people fascist. Because, okay.
Alan Moore is great, I though. I needed that. I mean, eh. If you like, you like. I don't bitch at people. No, I, I, Alan Moore is a legitimately great comic book creator and artist. He's just a horrible person. You know that, right? Yeah. He's at that age. Let him rant. <laughs> We're gonna let Grandpa rant. Okay. That's fine. Whether the apocalypse canceled party in Malibu or New York. Rule number one of being a garbage human: screw other people. Yeah, not like that. It's weird that the creator for Deadpool has now Rifel Ra Rifel sure has now said around. that Deadpool wasn't based off Slade Wilson, and it's like. Really. Yeah, no, everyone's reaction was, don't start that shit. We already know the truth. The other creators came out Look and at his it. name! Yeah, they no, there's a literal... There's one letter in the name. There's a literal there's comic letters. where they met, and it's fucking hilarious. Like a little mini thing. Yeah, no, it's really weird that he's saying that now. It's like everybody else that has worked on Deadpool has said that. Everyone's getting into their favorite comic creator now. Do you guys do you? Oh, Robbie wants to be nice to us. Thanks for meeting me out here. Of course, Robbie. What is on your mind? The dark holes. I woke up with this funny feeling this morning. Oh, he's going through puberty. Oh, and what was that? Well, I got out of bed, got dressed, looked in the mirror, and saw the Ghost Rider standing before me. You know, the real deal. And you know, it didn't feel weird. It was like I knew I could handle anything the day handed to me. No problem. What's with that? <laughs> it's such a dick move considering what's going on right now. No. I'm pretty sure it is called confidence, Robbie. Oh, so that's what confidence feels like. I don't think I've felt it before. Not like this anyway. Guess the confidence you had in me was contagious. I am heartened to hear that, Robbie, but you overcame your own demons. No offense to Sparky, of course. The credit goes all to you. You know, I was thinking, once all of this is over, I'm gonna go back to my old stomping ground, have my very own homecoming moment. Mm, ready for your hero's welcome? Ready for some neighborhood deep cleaning? You should come with. Got plenty of bad guys in East LA that are long due for a tune-up from our badass hunter ghost rider duo. Let's do it. But we have we to jump We are one the deadly first. duo. Oh hell yeah, I need I that say scene. More like a trio with a spirit. Duo, trio, all the same. Me and Sparky both know who's the ghost rider, right? He says right. And a few other things, but we agree on the basics. The ghost rider is Robbie Reyes, and I'm ready to bring some of that back home. And I look forward to helping you do that someday. Yeah, well, we're both gonna have to wait a minute on that. <laughs> this flaming gearhead ain't riding off to the sunset before we finish what we started. And as always, I've got your back. The chat goes, imagine Thomas the Tank Engine violently running over people in the streets of Los, of Los Angeles. Oh, no. We've unleashed the demon. It's like that train from Inception. Stop being so defensive and listen to us, Robbie. We're just worried about you, that's all. No need to be worried. I got this. I don't think you fully understand what you're carrying. The parchment packs a lot of evil. And what? You don't think I can handle it? I'll have you know that you aren't no. the only one who has a corner on controlling darkness. Just ask Sparky. We're just concerned. Concerned? You're starting to sound an awful lot like caretaker, Nico. Since when did you become such a jerk? Since he started carrying that damn page, that's Why when... don't you worry about yourself, Blade? Whatever you say, Robbie. Why don't you go find Peter? Well, maybe I will. I'm out. Okay, people getting that defensive, well, I don't give a try. shit about Alan Moore. The parchment of power is no joke. Then again, neither is Robbie. Let's just hope he's right and he can handle it. <sighs> yeah, let's hope. Holy shit. Hey, if you guys are so great on Alan Moore, do you want to talk about a certain comic? 
Yeah, you want to get no, that defensive? No, 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 no. We ain't talking about that on air. <laughs> I don't want to talk about that. That was fucking weird. Wasn't his wife also involved in writing that? Yeah, she was, yeah. That's just, well, I mean, hey, he found the perfect woman for him. <laughs> That's some weird shit to write. That is... Fuck, what is their names? Now I have to remember which one that is. I want these fucking cards. Where is it? I wish I could remember that spot. Because I know it was a breakable wall. It's temperance. You want to go down with me? Thank you. Oh, that's one of the ones we haven't gotten then. Give me Doctor Sh Give me Doctor Doom in this game because I just need to see him and Tony and Doctor Strange just snipe at each other in the background. That would be amazing. It'd be annoying, but it'd also be amazing. For those that haven't seen the cards and why we like them so much. Indeed. We still have yeah. two of them out there to find. Yeah, one of them's the uh, the one we're, that we're looking at on the wall because I can't find it. That one's obvious, come on. That one was such an obvious card to draw. Yep. Oh, I do like how they drew death. Who the fuck is the hangman? Oh, Bucky, okay. I like that the game makes a fucking joke about Thor not being in it. That's one of the ones we need to actually get. Yeah, I think they were holding a couple back for if they did get another game. I just love that that's actually a joke in here. Cloak and Dagger. Thank you. It was bugging the hell out of me. Because I always get that one confused with another comic, two comic characters, because they have a very similar look. What are you doing over here? It's weird. I just felt this need to be out here. Robbie, did you want my chest? You can have it today. You're feeling a little out of it. Something about Jeremiah Kane's statue drew me. Guess it's that old spirit of vengeance connection, huh? Like you, Cain carried more burdens than any one man should. Yep, yeah, so he knew how the big honor could also become a curse. Do you feel you have been cursed? Absolutely. I mean, it's awesome to be one of the Midnight Suns and have the incredible responsibility of carrying the parchment of power. But it also really sucks. Up my finger trying to fix the fence this morning. Ow. As long as you carry the parchment with you, you are the most powerful member of the Midnight Suns. I hope you realize that. Huh. <laughs> Never thought of it that way. Probably shouldn't have struck It is an ego. awesome responsibility. Yeah, but... Of course, power doesn't do me much good unless I use it. And I doubt that's ever gonna happen. Blaze's betrayal probably soured your outlook. Uh, about that. I keep thinking about what happened back in Limbo. Right before all the fighting broke out, when Blaze told me you were the key to the parchment, the prophecy, all of it. And that if we took you out, the world might survive. Robbie. I, I know what you're gonna say. Don't trust Blaze. I get it. Which is why I'm thinking I should read this parchment for myself and find out exactly what caused him to get so worked up about you. Go on, Robbie. That would be really interesting. Sure. I do not know what Blaze Plot read. reasons. I am not a Can't mind reader, write. nor are you, which is why I am asking you to trust me. Forget what Blaze said. Forget about what could be on that parchment. I can't just forget it, Hunter. What am I supposed to do? Uh, bake a loaf of sourdough and try not to think about having the directions for the end of the world riding around in me? Yes! Oh, do you bake? Uh, nothing more complicated than instant brownies. Oh, that is too bad. I would love a warm loaf of bread right now. To break bread together would be more meaningful than the words of a hundred parchments. 
Fine, forget it. I'm not gonna read the page. <laughs> I've never Happy seen that. Now. I am relieved, yes. But what are you going to do instead? Go bake brownies? I'm gonna do what I normally do. Sit and worry. You can't just say you bake brownies and not do them. And hope Stark hurries up with whatever he's building in the forge. That may take a while. I'm just gonna pretend I didn't hear you say that. After all this, God, I love how I better dumb get a statue of my own around. You know why they get those statues, right? He'll find out. Now he has to go bake. He's got to go do some baking around the abbey. He's got to make us some bread. You son of a bitch. Spider-Man's already been doing that for like a week. Doing the baking? I can totally... Now, does he have like a little spider apron? No, did, you, did you, but you didn't... Okay, so you didn't remember the joke that he made about trying to... He said that he actually did try to bake a... He wanted to bake a loaf of sourdough. What you the, doing, the Charlie? Oven. Oh, before. right. That was like at the that early was, That part, was what Robbie was referencing. So I assume because he's referencing that, that means Peter has actually been doing it. Why are these not cutscenes we get to watch? Because I need to see how this shit turns out. I still want to see the jumping over the Abbey thing. I feel like that. I feel like that would just be like, I don't know how that would affect your system. I want to see the Abbey jump though. How are we gonna destroy that page? I'd offer. She to looks so much better one, with that hairstyle. The parchment is beyond its power. That looks so much better on her. Just tell me. I already told you. That was just a bunch of hocus pocus mumbo jumbo. Authored by the hand of a corrupted elder god, vile, unspeakable evil power contained within its pages. I get it. The Darkhold is bad. But I'm a scientist. I need facts, examples, highlights, lowlights. Are you really asking me for a book report on the dark? I mean, I could just blast the page to smithereens without knowing the context, but understanding it is so much more interesting. Context or no context, I'm still skeptical that your plan will actually work. Well, okay, then share your deep insights with me, Dr. Spooky. Come on, spill the beans. I have no beans to spill, Tony. I think I need some fresh air. God, you're such a dick, Tony. Dr. Spooky never stops being perfect, though. Tell me how the the molecular science works, you fucking wizard! If, does Tony forget that Strange is also a doctor? Care. He just yeah, wants him to give care. it to him and play in turfs. That's when that's when Strange needs to go in the most like scientifically yes. mumbo jumbo magic bullshit explanation just to see Tony's reaction. I just start making up words and say they're magic words just to fuck with Tony. Any other character would have done that, but we know Strange won't. Also, I hope I Robbie's it. doing okay. He keeps threatening to make bread. Are you alright? Why would I not be? We encountered Mephisto. Duh. I like magic. That is all. I should go. I am all right, Hunter. No, that is a lie. I am not all right. But you thought to warn me. This I will not forget. Hold on. Why is somebody... Don't forget anything. Someone DM me a list of Alan Moore's comics. I really well, don't let's... care. Holy shit. Here's gonna surprise a lot of people. I don't like Watchmen. I wasn't ever interested in it. So, Tony, you're, you're a dick. You're, you're, right. you're, you're just stabbing you that bear in the butt with a knife. They want to start fucking. that shit. I don't really... I good. I, I bind with people that like his comics. I have nothing against them. The fascist thing is a funny joke. It's, like, it's a fucking meme and people are taking it too seriously. I forgot where the fuck that comes from, but it, he said something like that in an interview and it became a meme. There's something really silly. I guess you're wondering why Strange and I were getting into it. I saw enough. 
Yeah, you want him. You want him. He gets so huffy and precious when it comes to his magic stuff. <laughs> Everything has to be shrouded in mystery, like he's on stage in Vegas or something. I think he's afraid I'm going to turn around and become an even greater sorcerer than he is. I need to see this. So, has anyone ever thought of a really bad idea? Just Tony with a fuck ton of magic? I want to see this happen now. Could we do a thing where, like... Oh, that would end up so bad. Who would be worse giving a fuck ton of, of Doctor Strange's magic to? Tony or Reed Richards? That, that's actually a very, very good question. See, I feel like Reed would cause the destruction of the Earth from outside forces, but Tony would find a way to build something that would actually just enslave the Earth. So do you want to be dead or do you want to be a slave? Hmm. Hard decisions, because we also know Reed has destroyed the universes a few times and caused the zombie apocalypse. Although, he does have Sue to smack him in the back of the head and tell there, him to stop. There's all... Yeah, but if he's a magic person, he's just gonna... He's just gonna take her mouth away or something. <laughs> until, he, until he needs it. That's the other thing. A lot of other versions of Reed Richards <laughs> randomly turned evil. <laughs> I just realized what's in the back of this picture. I never noticed the Simpsons did that. I'll show you what someone just said to me. Fine, I'll put this on the seat, on the screen. Look what's in the background. I never noticed that before. Uh... <laughs> it makes it so much worse, doesn't it? All right, fine. We'll let we'll let Grandpa just read his little Lulu. Also, I do remember little Lulu. That's fucking great. Thank you. Did they actually get him to voice that? I think they did. I think they actually did get him for that scene. Richards? Yeah, everyone's kind of going with Richards. Who was that? That's Alan Moore. They, I think they actually did get him to voice on The Simpsons uh, once or twice. Because he actually does, or he did have a sense of humor about things. That's when they did the joke about Watchmen babies. Little did we oh, know. Oh, God, I remember that. <laughs> You know what? What would be worse, that or uh, with uh, the Watchmen show? I mean, the Watchmen show isn't getting a season two, so yeah, no. the damage has already been done there. Oh uh, yeah, I wonder if the comics still have the the thing on the covers that say, you know, uh, based on the hit TV series or that stupid shit I screenshotted and, or I sent you a picture of from the from the uh, bookstore that day. It's because reasons. Yeah, I get cross-marketing. I feel bad for all the Watchmen fans, because I did see that show. I watched it with Mike. It, I don't even, I don't know a lot about Watchmen, but Jesus, that was bad. That was bad. It was funny, but it was not funny in a good way. The only Looking, interesting... looking back on it, it was funnier than, than what I I mean, uh, Jeremy Irons was amazing. Jeremy he just Irons said, was fuck it. There to have, yeah, no, he was just there to have fun. You could just take all of his scenes, and that that would be a great show in itself. Yep. I thought you were trying harder to understand Strange and his magic. I am. Puppy. That's why I was asking him all those questions about the Darkhold. So why the antagonism? Because I don't understand it yet, and that bothers me. Do you believe you can understand it? Maybe I'll get it eventually. I always do. It's just, he's really good at it. Surely there is a way for you both to work together in harmony. Oh, you'll never catch us in the same barbershop quartet. But given enough time, I'm sure I can reverse engineer an Elder God's programming language. Sure, you may not be able to understand what I'm saying, but that's not my problem. So you think the Darkhold is no different from some fabulous bit of technology? Oh, absolutely. And like any other fabulous bit of technology, it's only a matter of time before I figure out how to do what I want to do with it. Every problem has a solution, my resurrected friend. And I'm going to find it. Hi, Miko. Somebody DM me. No, I have no problem making fun of any comic creator. I just think it's funny that people got really mad over that one. Oh, 
Any famous last words? Me. He's gonna get pissy with that one, I think. He's gonna want me to stroke his ego, isn't he? Yeah, no, he's gonna want you to stroke his ego. It will be a challenge, but I know you can handle it. Well, you don't have to tell me twice. Actually, uh, you can tell me several times. I'm such a shameless sucker for praise. <laughs> and what about Strange? Are you going to let him sulk? Oh, I'll find Dr. Spooky later and explain my position clearly. Make sure he understands. It might help if you stop calling him Dr. Spooky. Never. Yeah, you're right. I should use his name. Steven Spooky. <laughs> I'll give up. <laughs> well, don't give up yet. You need to get the research going on the Gamma Accelerator. I've got the pieces and Dad's research and I'm ready to go. I'm We're gonna find to Tony as a started. frog. Isn't going to no, not a frog. What the fuck would he turn him into? A rat's too obvious. No, so something, something that would need to be to, to have all of his vanity Thanks, removed. Hunter. He would be a duckbill platypus. I, I want to see this really badly. I also thought of a new thing for my AI art to do tonight. What's your favorite character in this game? Now he won't answer me. Yes. I want to do the Lorax as one of the one of the characters from the game. Do the from what game? From this. You want to do the you Lorax? Yeah, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try something you with the AI that? later. Oh God! Why? Because it's funny. Boss? Um. All right, make Lorax into Iron Man. Actually, Lorax would probably be Captain America because he's a curmudgeon Sometimes, old man. Sometimes I even impress myself. Yeah, but but Captain America's not curmudgeonly. I could no, see him better old. as Wolverine then. Yeah, no, Wolverine would probably be perfect. We are finally getting some decent tech down here. Mike, do you feel like hating yourself today? Or should we save these for another day? Eh. I'm happy to help, Hunter. Is normal then. I still love that, that, that uh, Stan Lee purposely made Tony Stark so he was supposed to be unlikable and then everybody liked him. He's like, the fuck is wrong with all of you? Why though? He's over there. He's over there. He's over there. Okay, so he is. Fucking yeah, I forgot I was muted. Yeah, I was waiting for you. So which one are we going to take on? Let me go talk to Strange, and then we'll come back and talk to him. Sorry if you guys hear Puppy in the background. Dr. Strange, he's hitting the sack. Go, Strange, go. Yeah. Look at him go. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, Shit, Strange yeah, is that, good at this. Fumble that nut sack. I mean, yeah. yeah, that is where he's aiming. Shiny, 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 shiny. Let's talk, oh, God. After seeing how much you actually get in the game, that is bullshit. It is. It's only like Careful five hunter. you get from those, Punches I think, normally. Faster oh, before you do that, compliment him. Yeah, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, that a compliment. I feel the knowledge him. behind every word you say. Yes! Thanks. I do enjoy flattery. I came out here to cool down. Carol kindly suggested I work out my frustrations on the punching bag. She was right. Her suggestion was wise. I'm afraid I know the source of your frustrations. If you think this source has got salon sculpted facial hair and an ego the size of Montana, then you are correct. Just go mess with his hair. Oh my gosh, that's how you just defeat Stark. Go fuck with his hair. As usual, you have displayed keen wisdom by putting several rooms between yourself and Stark. At this point, if I even hear the sound of his feet on the stone, I'll suck it to him, as the kids say these days. 
Try to maintain that healthy distance. That is all I ask. The problem with Tony is that he's too cavalier. I suppose that attitude has contributed to his success, but he can't do it with the arcane. It's a completely different realm. One that will deal him a brutal defeat if he doesn't change his ways. You do not think he can destroy the Parchment of Power? I don't think he understands just what the page represents. His whole life has been ones and zeros. And even twos. The forces that shaped the Darkhold were powerful long before numbers or technology. They exist outside of the theory of relativity or quantum mechanics. They are elemental and esoteric as the rules of the dream space. I hope the two of you can reach an understanding. If he wants to work things out, he knows where to find me. Hopefully, <clears throat> my aggressions will have been worked out by then. <clears throat> no, no, yeah, there was a time when Alan Moore was completely normal. Yeah. Buenazua. It, it's, 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 uh, I'll explain this. Um, it, Alan Moore and a lot of comic creators become like this because the comic industry fucks you over. It's like with any industry. That's why he's the way he is to a point is because DC fucked him over. It's the same thing if you want to look into a recent thing like that. Oh, do you remember where the guy from Fable did his interview? The creator yeah. of Fable did one recently because he just put Fable in public domain last year. Yeah. Because basically DC, in his contract, it said he get resi he gets residuals, he gets to okay scripts, he gets uh, with scripts, uh, any movie or TV deals, like stuff like that, like a whole package. And DC was trying to renege on the rights for paying him. There were apparently several calls where they were giving up reasons why they couldn't pay him or why the checks were late. He didn't know about things like Wolf Among Us till it was out when he was supposed to have okayed the script to the game because, you know, he wants it to be in tandem with the comic. It, it happens a lot. I think, I don't think Neil Adams had that issue. I'm trying to think there's another one. I know Stan Lee wasn't happy with later Marvel. Um, I think Jack Kirby was very, very outspoken about certain things in comics. Yeah, by the way, DC is going to have fun in about five years when Superman and Batman go into public domain. I'm doing so many horrible things with Batman. I'm waiting for the shadow. I think he hits public domain this year or next year. Um, All I know is Steamboat Willie is going head on into the World Trade Center. <laughs> have you seen those? Yes, hold it's on. amazing. Hold on, hold on. I've got one to show you. I cannot put this on the stream. Absolutely fucking not. I love this one. It's horrible. You know why people are doing it, right? Yeah, because they just want to say fuck you to No, 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 oh, no. God. I couldn't say it on stream. Oh, God. Yep. Oh, God. Yep. Oh, God. The internet's an evil place. But in the most wonderful ways sometimes. <laughs> Yes, do it. Do it. That shit's actually funny. I'll put it in the Discord later, everybody, or get Taxman to do it. Um, yeah, a lot of comic creators do that. Um, they, they, they don't like. Not. I don't think any of them, other than the creator of Fables, put them in public domain right away as a fuck you. But a yeah, lot really, hate really get hateful towards. Well, well the other thing is, companies. is that. The only reason why he was allowed to do that is because that is that is his property. Like technically, like Todd McFarlane could do that with Spawn. Yeah, but like he that. also but, runs that company. So as of right now, right, we ain't gonna do right. Shit. But what I'm saying, right? But it, it's the intellectual property rights. Like if Alan Moore did Watchmen, he doesn't own Watchmen. DC owns Watchmen, so he can't make that public domain, even though he wrote it. Yeah, he. I think his con. Yeah, that was the other thing. He, he didn't. He didn't get a contract like that. I think, wasn't the Fable thing because Vertigo shut down or something? Or was he uh, doing Ver well, Vertigo, Fable before? Vertigo was supposed to be an alternate brand from DC. And I think it had some connections to the main DC universe, but, most, but some of it was supposed to be just its own thing. That's why they adapted a lot of those other smaller ongoing series with like Fables. I don't think, the Fables I don't think crosses over with any other DC property to my knowledge. I think Batman at one point, Bigsby and Batman do cross over. Because everybody crosses over with fucking Batman. Yeah, I know um, Constantine came from Vertigo. 
Uh, Fable, um, I think Dead Man came from Vertigo. Uh, I know how Vertigo died. Um, but you'll see that with a lot. I, I don't blame Alan Moore at all for people that think that I'm on the comic company side because that's what I'm getting accused of. No, I don't fucking. I've worked in in the animation industry. If you want to hear me rant, I fucking hate the right, the IP right shit. I had to fight to get my own IP rights back. It's a fucking hell, and I wish Alan Moore would get the rights back to Watchmen and stuff like that. I understand why he's a curmudgy old man. It's just the fascist. I fuck. I wish I could remember what he said that started that meme. Because it was really funny. Hold on. What are you doing? Okay. You're good. But no, for people that think... I, I agree with any comic hold, uh, comic creator that bitches about the comic industry. To a point, you have to have a valid complaint. You have to have a valid one. I have seen some of the stupidest shit from newer comic creators. But, no, I absolutely agree with Alan Moore on a lot of the things he said about the comic industry. And he used to have a huge sense of humor about how DC wanted to... That was what started a lot of stuff. DC wanted to do a lot of off-branching stuff with Watchmen. That's why The Simpsons made the joke about Watchmen babies. Was because of that. And God, I now I just want to see that actually become real because I need, that is hysterical. You also have to pick your battles. That's, yeah, that is the other thing. Can't do that, that's law. We're not doing that. Blueprint. Camera, coil, legendary. We don't need the money. We don't really need that. Artifacts. Burn it all. And we'll go for the intel. I have a mod, by the way, so if we're not in a party, we should still get friendship points with people. I have to actually see oh. if that one works. Very good. She's only wearing nipple pasties. She felt like being, you know, it, it's been hot, it's summertime. She wanted something that breathes a little more. The Keyblade has no right being that awesome. Indeed. Let's see. Oh, that mod actually worked. Thomas the Tank Engine, no! Oh good, that mod's working again. When, and during tests, the, uh, the, the team mod hasn't, has been on and off working. Big thing is, if you go into comics, animation, anything, read your fucking contracts, people. And that's the thing a lot of people don't do. I got lucky in my instance because I had a lawyer helping me out. I mean, certain companies also like to contradict themselves in contracts. <laughs> God, I want to see now a bunch of the old, um, the old comics from the 50s that Marvel used to own come back. Protect the server. Oh, this should be easy. Oh, I know who to kill first. Fuck those things. Yeah, no, I hate those things. I did a game, I did a battle last night and I wasn't paying attention to them. They will fuck you up so hard with how many people they will grab. Anyone oh, that yeah, touches no. me No, then you have down. to, like, wipe the board in one go, which is ridiculous. Uh, that one, I'm going to be putting that up soon. That's just, uh, that's from my, like, messing with AI. This is the sunglasses. It's horrifying. One more time. One more time. I can boast it up if you guys want it. Think I can punch through a moon now? Go binary. Fuck yeah. Go binary and torch their little faces. The guy in front of her just realized he fucked up in life. The guy in front of her's face is literally melting.
I wonder if it's like Spider-Man, where Spider-Man can like use his stick you and power to pull this. people's faces off. Maybe you should teach me that one. We, I would say we need more horrific comics, but I know what happens when I say that. No, he did that once. I know. We could all, you know what? You know what I am surprised this game hasn't referenced? Uh, uh yeah, no, I can still do that. What? Sandman? To restore yeah, killing Spider-Man. Lilith has damned you to hell. Why? Why did they reference Sandman killing Spider-Man? I said Spider -Man that Spider they were, they reference so much weird shit in this game sometimes. Yeah, I know, but Spider-Man's alive. Yeah, that's true. Uh, let's see. Go for that. Fuck it. Yep. Who's yeah, you got enough card plays to take them both out. <sighs> Where does he keep the stakes with those little pans? Leave some for the rest. Do you really of us. want the answer to that question? Yeah. No, you don't, because it's probably you have been judged. Kill spider in the most room. Yeah, no. Someone had to write that. Someone had to draw that. And no there was an editor that repent. okayed it. Was that when they were killing? That was when they were killing off the um, not the new Fifty Two. Shit. Ultimate Universe. That's what it was. Yeah, that was, ironically, they didn't kill him off in the major event that killed everybody else off. They they gave him his own. That was when the blob ate the wasp. He's going to split, so no. I'll just go for this guy. Come get it. God, I forgot about the wasp thing. That was weird. I mean, you kind of got to give it to him. If you're going to kill off a universe, going as big as possible like that, you might as well. But at the same time, we think there might need to be some comic people with therapy. I doesn't control the situation. Payback's going to be fun. Feeling a little off. Piano two. Fuck. All right. So now he's, he's, oh fuck me. I Not forgot he should. It, but help is on the way. Mother protect us. Is it because Cap's here? Is this why you showed up? Nice shield. What's it like being a Captain America knockoff? Uh, no, they can they can actually show up. They're supposed to show up at random, so. Suffer. No, there are certain missions they usually show up on. Well, no, the, yeah, there's there certain ones that they show up on, but like if it's like a side mission, like one of these, like not a main campaign mission, it's supposed to be, I think, random when they show up or randomly which one shows up. I got your shit. Oh. That's... Yeah, no. Yeah, no, no. You want to use that on him. You want to get him out of here. It's about time. Go for a fall. Do a flip. Damn it. Nobody makes me believe my own blood. <laughs> I do... It's such a stupid fucking line. That's a line I do like his... I do like his little, like, Hydra shield. Yes. He's just, look at him, he's now copying Cap, look at him. Now play his tactician card. Fine. I'm on it. That's from Dodgeball? I've That's never the, seen Dodgeball. The Simpsons did it before Dodgeball. Hmm. Uh, I would guess you probably, well, you're getting 180 damage out of fucking Cap shield bash. That's exactly who I want. Uh, well, you're gonna hit Thomas the tank, engine, but that's okay. I can see why your friends Thomas put might their be trust dead. in you. Thomas, Thomas didn't place. get anything. He's fine. Well, not bastard. No, because that'll just that'll go away.
Fuck it. Yeah. How's your back feel after that, asshole? Might as well line up, suckers. I'm here to get paid. The writers love making Spider-Man miserable. It is really weird, isn't Heroes it? In a barrel. At this point, you it's just become weird how much they like doing that. Hydra's got cases of these things. Huh. I miss me. It's I can't remember who it was. There was I think wasn't there like an editor or something that said Spider-Man's not allowed to grow up or something like that. Uh, that was Joe Casada, and his thing was that Spider-Man should always be, uh, should not be married. That's why one more day happened. Someone call for reinforcements? Oh, that is so weird. I know there was an editor at, at DC that had that same logic that, like, uh, comic characters shouldn't be married. Do you take more That's pride so in the weird. size of your muscles or your mouth? Nope, that would be a very bad idea, actually. I'm going in. It's gonna Comic writers are in the right for Spider-Man. Everything you love sucks, and everyone you hates, everyone hates you. Have fun. No, there are comic writers for for Spidey that, that haven't done that. Get rid of that one, so I don't want to kill him. Ooh, yeah, that should do it. Here we go. Just another scar. Yes. You got taken down like a bitch. Well, the big one is down at least. Indeed. And you won the mission. Yeah. There is a really weird thing about Spider-Man in that. Yeah, I think he's the character the most that gets fucked over with that kind of shit. They just need to make a comic called Everybody Hates Spider-Man. The comic just involves writers just figuring out how to fuck Spider-Man over and him watching in depression. Like how he's being cucked right now or something like that and everybody hates that character. Sorry, somebody's coming to fix the fan I know. I like that they got the thing to still glow. There we go. Jesus, look at that. See, it did work. Oh god, I broke it. Mike, I think we've made mistakes. I, I think that's Hi, obvious, Hunter. yes. About the emo kids meeting, there's a problem. Wanda asked to run the show. Everyone was fine with it. Until Caretaker showed up. I love how nobody likes Caretaker. Caretaker oversteps as usual. Sarah taking control. How surprising. I don't blame her. Wanda's magic killed Agatha. It's hard to let that go. Why are we meeting? I thought we already knew how I died. Wanda doesn't think we do, and I believe her. So, you ready to head to the meeting and hear her out? Go for it. Lead the way. This was a mistake. I shouldn't have brought it up. I disagree. Your theory is sound. 
We must know the truth. Wanda already took Agatha from me. I'll be damned if I let her take my child. The one standing behind you? Not your kid. Oh, damn it. Not your kid. Not your kid. I didn't mean for you to hear that. You are a guest here, yet you dictate who is allowed to do what? It's not that simple. Convince me. Wanda says there is more to your death than what we saw. She claims she can reveal the true manner of your death. That dog is smart enough to get a bottle out of his toy. Wanda oh god, you can kept me in the dark the way you do. I've been trying to fix that. Why can't you give me a chance? Why not give Wanda a chance? Listen to her if you must. But if you proceed with the ritual... I can't lose you, Hunter. Not again. You've already lost me. Uh, the, the, so the plot of the game is... We're, um, an original... I think we're original character of the game, right? Hunter's not an actual Midnight Suns character. I don't believe so, no. I think it is. I think it's an insert. I, I don't believe there is one. So basically, you're trying to stop Lilith, uh, who is your mother, from basically summoning Cthulhu. Or Cthon, who is just, it is just Cthulhu. I'm not exactly sure why they didn't just use that, considering they use the names of other gods. Because reasons. I don't know if it's a mod doing that makeup. I don't think it is. Look at her face. I don't have the makeup mod. How are you? How are your clothes doing that? That's the actual clothes for the game. I didn't mean for this to happen. I just wanted to help. How? I spoke with Doctor Strange about your visions. That got me thinking. The last meeting, specifically the moment of your death. I don't think that's where your life ended. The last time we did this, something felt off. Good, you felt it too. There is a subtle magic at play. It clouds your perception, distracts from what is real. Why are you so certain? I felt it twice before. Most recently, when I was under Lilith's influence. And the first time? <sighs> when I killed Agatha. I had no warning I'd lost control until it was over. Something masked the danger from me, from her. I'm just gonna say, I like this version of Wanda. Why can't we have more of this version in the comics? Where she's not absolutely insane. And insufferable. I can respect your honesty, if not your magic. That's more than I expected. My magic works by creating what I most desire. It can also strip what is illusion from what is real. You deserve to know what truly happened. Please, allow me to help you. I think this is somebody's asking. I think this is before Vision. I don't think Vision has been made yet. They don't. They don't mention him in the game, and I don't think. Actually, I can't. He might be a tarot card. I think he's a tarot card, but I don't think... Like, I think in this timeline of the comics... Well, the tarot, card, the tarot cards are all... Those characters, they, I think they did confirm that all those characters do exist in this universe. So then what they're doing is this is before Vision has met Wanda. Which is fine, let's not let that happen. Just don't let them hump. Yeah. They were good together until then. Give me a moment. I understand if you have doubts. Speak with the others if you'd like. I'm sure they have their you own You look like opinions. a whore. Yeah, that is weird. I think that's actually part of the game. Let me see something. Sweet. Can I get a close-up of her now? Fucking buttons. Yeah, I think that makeup is part of the game because I, I have to check my playstation 5 but i didn't add any of the makeup mods let me check some other characters yeah i didn't add the makeup mod 
I didn't need to. I just had the air mo hair mod for her. But no, no makeup mod for anybody else. <laughs> he does have other mods, but I'll be damned I'm never using them. No, do not fret about Wanda. She knows what she is doing. Sarah worries too much. She totally knows what I she's doing. No she's not going to vaporize me. Leading the ritual. No, she's just driving crazy. And I'm glad she will hear that from you. So, listening to her now and having uh, played Baldur's Gate, she has a little bit of a lighter inflection in her voice than, uh, what's her name? J Jahira. But they do sound really similar, which is neat. So if Jahira ever has to do, if they ever do something with like a younger Jahira, either get the same voice actress, or if you can't get her, get the person that does magic. Which is, I believe, Abby from Last of Us, too, because she's actually a really good voice actress. Yes. She is a really, really good voice actress. That was just an unfortunate role. It is really funny to read the interviews, though, with her about that game. Poor Joel and that five iron. Yeah. What are your thoughts on Ms. Maximoff? They always told him to work on his golf game. Stop. Stop. What the fuck just went off? It's funnier when you read about how much he didn't want to do the motion capture for stuff. She needs to learn she is capable of this. But shouldn't the goal be the results, not self-actualization? Why can we not have both? Perhaps. If you're all right with proceeding, then so am I. Yeah, Last of Us 2 was unnecessary, I agree. I like Last of Us 1. But it's what happens. I, I understand studios have to... It's like with movie studios. You gotta pump out sequels if it makes money. I get that absolutely. But maybe you keep the, still, the same writer and not, you know... Not get... You know, uh, he's apparently the fucking CEO or something of. He's got a high ranking position apparently in Naughty Dog, someone said. Yeah, he died. I forget what his position is. Which explains a lot more of why he had full control over that game. I thought he was just like yeah, somebody he, they hired he is on. the president of the company. Maybe next time they just lock him in a fucking room and don't let him come out. Give him some toys to play with or something. Give him some women to yell at. That'll keep him busy. Like That explains it, because I couldn't figure out why the fuck he was in charge of that and had so much power, and now it made more sense. I guess that could have gone worse. Uh, looks like Sarah has settled down. Wanted to call this meeting, so let her know when you're ready. Um, oh. I really hate to break this to you. Um, He actually wrote and directed the uh, first Last of Us as well. He didn't write the... He co-wrote the first one. Not according to this. He does not have a co writer There is no co-writing credit. He is the sole writer. Hold on. I thought it was the chick that did, uh... Uh... Bullshit. He was not the fucking writer. Yep, Unless he removed they... the full writer. He removed the co-writer. Oh, that's why. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, because you know who co-wrote it? Yeah, wasn't it that chick that writes, like, actual good games? Yep. Uh, yeah, the one that had their Star Wars game canceled. Oh, did she? I didn't know she was working on it. Yeah, she, did, they were, um... she, I, uh, she was working with uh, Respawn when they were doing that Star Wars game that never came out. Oh, that would have been fun. She did um, the Legend of... Uh, the Legacy of Kane or the Legend of... Legacy of Kane games and a couple other things. And it's ironic that Neil Druckmann fired her for not being more of a feminist. She also wrote, I think, was it the original? What's the other game? Not not, not Jack and Daxter. What's the other one that, that Naughty Dog's famous for? Um, fuck. Crash Bandicoot? No, the other one. Uncharted. That's it. The Uncharted uh, one. Yeah, yeah. She wrote, I think, the first few of those, and then Neil wrote the last one. Crash. I didn't know Crash had writers. I no. Somebody has to do it. <laughs> I want to know how that script looks. Are you ready to begin the ritual? I am ready. All right. What is your last memory before your death? 
Lilith trapped me with the Darkhold. I could not move. Then I shall remove the veil. Oh, Mom's gonna be pissed. Now we're gonna know the truth. Or not, Mom. Caretaker's gonna be pissed. And now, your death revealed. What do you see? Lilith approaches. I have never seen her so determined. And now, child, you shall be free. Get the Still fuck away here. from me, Mom! Indeed. Maybe not show up move. like that. Yet I hear myself shout. <laughs> Bad touch. What the? My body lurches toward her. None of it my doing. <gasps> Lilith struggles against her own limbs, but cannot control them. My hand reaches for the dark hold. I see fear blossom in my mother's eyes. I touch the dark hold. That would have been a cool no. steelbook. Stay Pain back. washes over us both. The world flares white. And then there is nothing. Okay, what is with that voice? And who directed the hunter's movements? Someone who could hold Lilith in place. That's alarming. I'm sorry. There's nothing more. That's when the hunter died. Don't apologize. You showed us what we could not see. Sorry, give me a second. Kiwi got a plastic bottle and was ripping it to shreds, and you're not supposed to do that. There we go. I'm back. So did you guys enjoy that? That's how we died. I don't know yes. what to think. Was someone else there, and did they kill Lilith? Those are difficult questions to answer. At least we know to ask them. Hey, we'll get to the bottom of this. We're emo kids. We can do anything. God, I, I hate think that's that. that's it. Somebody Leaving? was smiling when they wrote that. Yeah, they were. In a minute. Let me know when you're heading out. I, I want to believe the person was smiling like an idiot when they wrote that joke. I have to actually look into the Legacy of Kane thing so, about the ch design changes screwing it up. Because I did like, I've seen a lot of the story and I like the story for it. Another mystery resolved. No more reason to assemble the emo kids. You sound disappointed. I am, somewhat. This kept me distracted from the state of the Sanctum Sanctorum. Reminded me I could still be useful. Perhaps that is the lesson. Hmm. You think way too deep, Dr. Strange. You see? Now you know. What we know is Deep, disturbing. did you say? Truth is often disturbing. We both learned that lesson years ago. This is true. We'll bitch at you in a moment, caretaker. Are you all right? How do you feel? Physically, I am fine. Good. How about what you saw? This is the first time it all rings true. Truth can be messy. It's why a false reality is so alluring. Yeah, you're one to talk. What we saw tonight did happen. You both died with your hands on the Darkhold. What does that tell us? I'm not sure yet. Perhaps it will give us an edge in our fight or insight into something we've missed. More unanswered questions. That's not it. We have all the answers to your death. What we're missing are the questions that match. Yeah, all the voices in this do a really good job. I think the guy that does... Is it Doctor Strange or Tony? One of them is actually voiced in Marvel stuff before as Gambit. And I'd be really interesting to... Was I it... think that's Doctor Strange. I think it was Ultimate Alliance that he did Gambit? Maybe. I'll have to look that up later, because I'm actually curious to see how he sounds. But 
fuck do you still want? Thank you for trusting me to do this. Of course. It means more than you know. Miko, you can you can go in the cage if you want. Caretaker, you're still a bitch. What we just saw, it's difficult to comprehend. I know I have questions. But what about you? I'm sorry, so are you saying you didn't know about any of that and you kept stopping this shit? Yeah. Bitch. No one else was present when I faced Lilith. So whose voice did we hear? No one I recognize. If Lilith has just recovered the Darkhold, she may have used it to summon a dark spirit. If she did, it seems like she lost... Perhaps. I didn't skip that. I pray it was just that. Could it have been... Kathan? Speaking through the Darkhold? Perhaps. But why draw you towards the book? What was there to gain? I don't know, I was bored. I'm still unclear on how I actually died. The magic of the blood courses through you and your mother when you both touched the dark hold. Mystical feedback? That's my theory. It's a dangerous book. Perhaps more so than we thought. Wait, so is it one of those like paradox things where like similar to how you're not supposed to touch another version of you from the past or something like that? They both touch the book. I should Are you talking going. the time cop rules? Yeah. Very well. Good night, kiddo. Uh, um, yes. I don't remember specifically the logistics I'm of it. I'm proud of you for pushing through all this. Get um, fucked, caretaker. This thanks. would have been easier without you. Well, good night. Get fucked. This would have been easier without your ass interfering. Oh my god, did they make her purposely fucking hate Phil. I, I was laughing because somebody has anarchy in the chat goes, someone stop Scarlet Witch from talking about fake realities before she does a House of M again. Another meeting Indeed. completed. You heading out? Has that fucking X-Men comic, Fire Gala, or whatever come out? Because they keep fucking, like, for what, three or four years now they've been teasing that stupid comic? I don't remember. That is it for me. The last meeting of emo kids. Should we get another t-shirt? I kind of want another t-shirt. Or, ooh, maybe a pin. I love Nico. I'll figure it out. Thanks for letting us root around in your past, Hunter. I love Hunter. I love Nico. Hmm. He's very bubbly. Select an area and Okay, Chaos Rain, they have to actually be close to Wanda, right? Uh, yeah, that's an AoE attack around her. That one would give us a plus two. I'm gonna try to upgrade Chaos Field and then go for Chaos Rain. Because the resist will be useful. We, somebody asked, yes, we will do Ultimate Alliance at least to probably after this game. Better the Deadpool game. I haven't decided. Uh, so I am going to have to drop out. I have to get ready to go. So I will uh, talk to you later. All right. See ya. See ya. All right, guys. So with that, we will... We Do you guys want to continue Midnight Suns without Mike or do you guys want to do Grenadizer? Oh, we found the kitty. Oh, who's a good kitty? No, it's your guys' choice. You're the fans. Grenadizer? You want to see Blackie steal resources again? You None of you can see the smile on my face. All right, we'll do some Grenadizer. Give me a second. Where's my manual set? Here I, fun fact, I found out if you play this on, like, consoles, you only have a certain amount of saves you can make. Which kind of sucks. Alright, so give me a second and I'll set up for Grenadizer as soon as it saves. Oh, we got in a weird comic combo today. Apparently I made someone really mad. <laughs>